Hey, everybody. I'm Jesse. I'm Doug. I'm Nate. <laughs> I'm Roman. <coughs> and I'm Victoria. And this is Boring Conversation. Welcome to Boring Conversation, a Malifaux podcast. Welcome back to Boring Conversation, everybody. And we are joined once again by the one, the four, the only steam powered scoundrels yeah that's what yeah. they're called yeah. it's a loose very, collective <laughs> it's a loose yeah. collective yeah uh, i'm also very excited uh that zencaster decided to work properly today because that meant i get to see all your lovely faces bounce oh, around boy. and dance to the conversation theme song so that was pretty cool we are <laughs> here because i got a wild hair up my ass last night and said i needed some scheme powered scoundrels on the boring <laughs> conversation action um because well for the last couple of weeks there's been a lot of talk about the echoes of the breach uh fractured futures global campaign uh it's the first global campaign that we've had in a number of years uh weird has put these together for malifo in the past um for a couple of things one of them was the uh what nythera or was it kythera i can't I always forget which one was it Nythera. Nythera, yes. yes. Nythera. That's the one. Nythera, yes. Uh, one the the Nythera global campaign. And then we also got to uh, do another one where we kind of steered the futures of a few other characters that have since made their way into Malifaux, such as Marlena Webster, um, Serena Bowman, and uh, the Beast Within, right? The Beast Within? Ferdinand Vogel, yep. Yeah. Ferdinand Vogel. The most Vogel. dapper of lycanthropes. The yep. most dapper of lycanthropes. Uh, it's been a few years, and the community's really been clamoring for another one, and good on weird, because I can't even imagine how much work it must take to make these things happen. And now, we have Nia, a new character to the lore. Uh, and essentially, by playing campaign games using the set of rules that weird has laid out, reporting your games using the online form that they've linked, you can accrue points for the various threads of fate and in doing so the community can influence which of a series of eight keywords might be able to get nia added to their keyword as a permanent model and potentially see some other models adjusted at the same time we'll go into a little bit more about how all that works but it's pretty straightforward to be perfectly honest if you just check out the weird news um, in the app or go on their website or check it out on one of the many uh, discord channels that folks congregate on a lot of them have news channels uh, you'll be you too will be able to see the selection of keywords the rules and learn how you can back your favorite ones to get a brand spanking new model um, I would be really interested to hear if any of you guys have anything you'd like to share about the lore because not only did we get some new concept art we got campaign rules and we got a basic idea of what the objectives are but we also got a little bit of fluff so any of you guys want to share a little bit about what's going on with little miss nia <laughs> not everyone at once <laughs> not everyone I'm, at once we're looking at you fearless leader i'm i'm very embarrassed to say that i never i haven't finished reading the fluff um <clears throat> just got past the part where she's playing war on the train yeah it's the card game war <laughs> yep what is it good for with with uh, uh a apparently, person apparently advice on living in malifaux yeah you know, which seems valuable with a person that may or may not either be her from a different timeline, so that's the future, or it might be Zoraida. Who knows? Many running theories on this uh, strange old lady she was playing cards with and receiving a fate divining from. Yeah, deep, deep, deep for uh, Zoraida vibes yeah. uh, in this story. Old lady yeah. playing cards in a purple shawl screams Zoraida to me. 
It sure does. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's a Vasilisa in a flesh mask. Mm, also <laughs> possible. That is disturbing. Does um, Vasilisa but, hey, even Does Vasilisa even have vocal cords? I mean, I mean, are they hers? Is this fit, did, did she did have to no. borrow some? Are we are we gonna are we gonna throw some Magnus archives into this now? Yeah. <laughs> Probably <laughs> refit like piano wire or something to kind of mm. do it. Ooh, okay, okay. That's so pretty gross. terrifying sounding. Yeah, mm, that yeah. that can't sound that can't sound pleasant. No, 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 definitely not. So the there's a couple of keywords like we said that we might be able to get well we will eventually be able to see nia added to one of them and i'm sure we all have our preferences on which <laughs> one is going to come out on top uh, we may have an overwhelming majority in this room tonight but we shall see um for anybody listening the keywords that nia could potentially end up in are red chapel trichi savage honeypot cadmus academic Bandit and Marshall. Now, first and foremost, I would say that uh, Red Chapel is interesting, and uh, let's just make Nia the new master and not have uh, mm. yes Seamus in the game anymore. Eh? Okay. Yes. Okay, but we yes. have misfeasance. We do. We do. I would really, in in all honesty, I'd really like to see Emmeline Bell Rose yes. be a thing and then become the new master, which I know was just talked about on another podcast. I think that was Mr. Dice is himself. Um, it was a podcast. It unfortunately, was a YouTube un video. <clears throat> YouTube video. It's true. Unfortunately, canonically, Emmeline is dead. Um, Shush. Ooh. They're all dead. It's fine. <laughs> She, she can just, get better. She's just, she's just un she can get better. Yeah. <laughs> re re dead. <laughs> re re so, animate her. Yeah. Um, so really what we're here to do tonight is essentially, you know, pump up those numbers for the global campaign. Uh, one really cool thing about it is that you actually get double points for playing and scoring objectives, playing meat space games, which is pretty awesome. Uh, anything hosted at a friendly local gaming store or gaming club or just in person, uh, it's going to get you double the number of points towards the threat of fate of your choice. Um, so get out, play some yeah. games and with play that, vassal, just get it done. Potential like rewards for like a random game store that gets pulled after everything's said yeah. and done as well, I believe. So yeah, yep. go to your, go yep. to your stores, play games, report, listing your game store and I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Should they win yes. or not? Cause having Absolutely. people in the store is good. <laughs> So basically what happened was I sat down and I looked at all the concept art and I said, wow, this would be really fun to play Smasher Pass. Um, so <laughs> we're going to do that. And immediately uh, thought of. And I immediately thought of some people in this room right now. Um, but before we do that, we are actually each going to get a chance to give our quick little uh, stump speech or elevator pitch or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Tell the tell the masses why your particular threat of fate you've chosen to back is the only correct one. And just to get things started, I, I'm I'm going to take the stage first because it's my fucking show. So yeah. Yeah, you make the rules. <laughs> I make the rules. So we take a look at all these different concept arts, and and we see a lot of really cool stuff here. We see magical floating crystal things we see lots of gun arms and we see blades and horrifying shit but there's only one smile that's true that's right there's only one smile mm -hmm. and that is margarita vilnia <laughs> yeah. so I mean, we don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of joy in the world of malifo everything's very dark everything's very grim i wouldn't go so far as to say everything is very grim dark because that's another thing and vastly inferior but one thing that we don't get very often are beautiful, shining rays of sunlight, <laughs> such as a wide grin, a dope ass pair of sunglasses, a margarita and a fucking bitch in Hawaiian shirt. And <laughs> Nia with her little gremlin appearing, apparently Taurus buddies on a beach day, dragging a cooler around. I, I think that realistically speaking, that's the only choice. Bring some joy back to Malafo people. Back Tri Chi 2024. 
Doug. Tell me why I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. I'm drinking a Captain Dynamite IPA. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to ask. <laughs> From Which is, New Belgium Brewery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? I think everyone's pretty freaking familiar with all of our opinions on this on this thing. So, uh, but but Doug, um, but Doug, MNSU isn't an option. We need to know what your actual answer is. You want yeah. me to go into my beef with the academic? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Give Tony her mages back. Give, give me my mages back. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. Uh, my opinion is definitely let's go with Tri Chai for a, a bit of happiness. And she's got well drawn knees. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> got the knees out. <laughs> For free. Oh. For free. For free. Oh she stole she stole Trixie Bell's pants. Yeah, she's the only <laughs> one in shorts. And uh, actually initially when I saw this, I thought she was carrying a golf bag. So I was mildly confused. Um so yeah. Let's see. If I uh, you know I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna say if I had to lose, who would I want to lose to? Uh and that's actually just go. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say Marshall on this because I actually think the Marshall artwork is the most unique. She's given up the blade arm for just a murderous glowy axe, and she took her she 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 took her pose from the Bad Omen, <laughs> <laughs> and she's got this really cool like nefarious dark robe that's going on. Which uh, if you showed this artwork to me, I would just would have assumed it would have been um, Revenant. Mm. but uh yeah i guess if i could not get um nia buffett then i would want marshall um i know what one i absolutely would hate the most if we got is it oh do tell uh uh uh, it's the one where uh she has more arms than a human should have (laughs) She, they like made sure to give her like the most unhappiest face yeah. too. <laughs> like, ah, my arms she splitting into three arms, and, and I'm not enjoying tell. this. <laughs> oh no! All right, uh, and then who's who's next on the? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say runner up to a Red Chapel Neo that is wearing a coat made of faces. Yes, pretty gross. It's very on brand. So we'll just go clockwise right around the Zencaster pictures, and that would mean Nate is up. Oh next. shit! All right. Well, yeah. um, see, obviously for these uh, Echoes of the Breach campaign games, I've been supporting Honeypot. Just fucking kidding. It's fucking Tri Chai, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, this 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 story doesn't end until we help Nia find her lost shaker of salt. Um, so and her little gremlin buddies, her her little guys. Like, if they don't exist by the end of this, I will cry. There will be there will be a day long crying session. Uh, but um, if if for perchance our try chais do not do not, and I do not think they won't. But if they do not, I'm okay with a bandit second place because Gatling gun arm is pretty cool. But it's try chai. It's the only canon ending. That's all I have to say. I see my time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. All right. I don't understand why you couldn't include the sword still on the gatling gun arm mm, like fine. a bayonet yeah yeah maybe maybe it shoots nice. bayonets. <laughs> oh. oh a sword gun let's go the sword gun isn't that from tiny tina's yeah that's definitely a borderlands thing Keep? yeah it is yep. it's a borderlands thing it's a sword gun yep. it also explode a, they also there, explode yeah there is course. also a gun sword and through the breach but that's the gremlin strapped a shotgun to a giant sword <laughs> There's also a gun sword in Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that game. <laughs> I'm talking about Squall. This is my he's, favorite he's Final so broody. Fantasy. He's oh, so broody. Wow. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I'll leave. Why am I not surprised, Doug? <laughs> he, he needs that big brooding energy. 
it, it gives him Look, okay I, I didn't get to play games when i was growing up so i got to watch my friends play games and the one friend i had only had final fantasy 8 he never played 7 so that was the one i was most like interested in fair fair enough Shoot. and you watched him draw magic until his eyes bled great <laughs> very bad roman well um after much spiritual searching mm-hmm. i i gotta go to the bayou because <gasps> i'm concerned that while it appears that everything is fine and dandy while they are still going to find where they are going to settle down on the beach they clearly can't stop here because if her gremlin buddies are any indication this is bat country <laughs> <laughs> so we need to make sure that they get to a safe, shady spot to enjoy those drinks. When they come sauntering out of the bayou up to the ocean and Maxine sees them, she's going to be so confused. Like, what is even going on right now? Beach this episode. This is true. And then Orville, yes. being the perfect partner that he is, is going to go, honey, dear, you've had a harrowing time. Um, I've prepared some loungers here. <laughs> Our friends here have brought drinks. Sit your ass down and put away the chalkboard for a minute. Let your vodka and energy flow. Put away the tentacle also, please. I mean, they leave that in the bedroom. As long as the tentacle <laughs> behaves, the tentacle can stay for beach party. <clears throat> I, I've seen what happens when a tentacle is around bathing suits. Um... <laughs> All right, oh then the beach, then the so tentacle is invited. <laughs> so, speaking of which, I don't see any tentacles on this concept art. So, Vic, you're going to have to let us know where <laughs> you stand. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, um, all of this concept art is tragically tentacleless. <laughs> it's a tentacle free zone, if you will. I've, so I've what gotta, do you think? I've Who gotta, gets backed, Vic? <laughs> I've got to break the echo chamber here um, <laughs> and and risk getting a divorce. Um, <gasps> but my loyalty lies with Red Chapel from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> just cause Red Chapel has some strong Malifaux vibes, that's for sure. How Seamus is kind of my guy. Oh boy, your, your um, toxic ex boyfriend. Uh, yeah, my my toxic ex boyfriend, Seamus. And this is the Nia who can fix him. <laughs> she can oh, fix Jesus. him by putting a bunch of holes in him. Um, <laughs> and All adding holes. his face to her face coat, yeah, her coat of many faces. Yes, <laughs> the coat of many faces. Okay, look, the face coat is cool. I I agree. <laughs> it's, it's scary as hell, but it is pretty cool. <laughs> Moisturize me. I, can, I, can, <laughs> I, can, uh, I will that. admit, other than the sheer gremlin energy that obviously Bayunia puts out, like Red Chapel is the Red Chapel one is the most Malifaux of the Nias. She also looks like she's having a great time mm-hmm. in her oh, way. Face off. <laughs> in a face terrifying off. Oh, way, she's having a great time. Um. Why would you want to claw your own face off, ma'am? She seems to be enjoying it. I mean, she has some sort of horrific disease where she just keeps growing a new face, so she has to claw it off and add it to the coat. So actually, they're just a coat <laughs> of her own faces. <laughs> All right, so you heard, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Tri Chi is the only real answer, the only canon ending. Um, <laughs> don't even bother backing anything else because True. overwhelming majority? Wasted effort. Tri Chi? <laughs> It's Waste even more effort. canon an ending than the ending with a cannon arm. That's also something. like like also, truthfully, I don't hate Bayunia. I'm okay with oh, yeah. Bayunia winning. Also, I mean, if this is literally the only way that Bayou's going to get some plot relevance, right. let's, <laughs> let's, let's let's get it done. We we went through the whole no. burning uh, man arc with zero lore. We will go to the lore mines in Weird's headquarters and dig it out ourselves. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, look, you're gonna get one story of lore with Nia, and then Nia's going to be plot irrelevant immediately. I mean, yeah. <laughs> never. She'll it's never something. be mentioned again. Ever. Bayou like, is not allowed. It's a, 
It's a chicken nugget of floor. <laughs> it's the it's the extra onion ring of lore in the French fry bag of other factions lore. It's the best oh, thing. Boy. It's the thing you're the most excited about. Can can I can I do my honest thing about why people should play? <laughs> yes, Doug. yes, yeah. Okay. Be honest. No, this this Jesse Jesse kind of went into it, but this is something that I always kind of talk about. It's like Malifaux has always been like the bad things happen kind of universe where, you know, bad things happen. There's a lot of crappiness and suffering and whatnot. But the thing is that keeps it from being like grim, dark, everything's always bad all the time is there's always occasional times where good things happen. There's a little bit of hope out there. Someone doesn't suffer painfully. Uh, and this is what we need, especially since <sighs> it was technically a good ending, but Ash has had a lot of bad things happening to people, some some bad people, some other people, some people falling out of the sky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but seeing someone actually succeed and hopefully never have to deal with all the crap that's going on. And just, you know, enjoying the beach life for the rest of her life. I want that. I want a good thing to happen to a character that we just met, apparently. But 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 still, it's it's nice to see. And also, like, with the buddies, yeah. she could possibly have a I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque on her card somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing Love I would it. change is, like, maybe give her a corkscrew instead of a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, that's that, one of the other attachments. I'm on board Ooh. with that. Oh, that's, that's what's, what's in, in the, the golf bag. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's her, it's her battle attachments. Yeah. She's got the, an ice pick. Is, is also where they are searching for that lost shaker of salt because mm. if if it's anything like any other beach bag I've seen, it's basically a TARDIS. <laughs> got some big Mary Poppins action. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So there there we go we've all shared our opinions on who you should back <laughs> try cheat um <laughs> but the most important segment of the of the evening in this very short uh episode is upon us and that is smasher pass on nia's many threads of fate so uh we're just gonna grab the concept art image and i didn't actually see a key anywhere that says specifically which one is which but i'm sure I think so. It out. looks like you're right. it's pretty order. straightforward. Yeah, from left off to that right. list. Yeah. yeah, if you go off that list, it's the exact order. Yep. So oh, again, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, all yeah. this is all conjecture, but it's conjecture <laughs> with a lot of fucking evidence. This <laughs> is so hilarious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the fucking turns out that turn... Buffett's not by him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone would be mad. That's like the outcast one. <laughs> <laughs> all the, all just... the outcast players are like, ah, yeah, we're gonna get the Gatling gun hand lady. Oh no, okay. two gremlins. Okay, no, no, <laughs> hold on. Think of the imp think of the implications if this was Red Chapel. <laughs> oh god! Kimberly just comes out and is like, "Surprise, motherfuckers! <laughs> 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 you fools!" All right, so since we can just do this in order and we don't have to guess, probably, probably. um, we'll just start with the first one, uh. Red Chapel, Nia. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll reserve my you. judgment. I'll, I'll. I'll reserve my judgment. We're, we're going to go ahead and let Doug go first. <laughs> <laughs> eh, wood. <laughs> this is very yeah, much yeah. a bed, not wed situation, though. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> bed and well, this is this is smash your pass. This is not. Wet I know, head. but like, I yep. just want to give clarification to. This, this is one once and then running for your the, fucking life. Absolutely. Right, this one definitely has the craziest ex-girlfriend energy of all mm -hmm. of them. No question about it. Like, Just... which social media platform do you think this Nia uses on the regular? 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> At best. Oh, God, no. Oof. What yeah. kind of question or, is that? Or she's an incredibly manic Tumblr girl. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no that, one's going to no say that's Facebook? Ah, boo. Missed opportunity no, no. right there. See, the make of her coat is the North Face. Yeah. And the South Face 
and the east face and the west face. Get out of this podcast. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to have to go pass on this one because that skin looks real stretchy which I guess could be maybe fun but I feel like uh, <laughs> Are you assuming the skin coat stays on? No, I mean the skin on like her face. Oh, the skin, the skin coat probably does stay on. Yeah, probably. Also, I had an ex-girlfriend like that. I don't need that in my life again. The one who tore her own face off? Pretty close. And okay. made a coat out of it? <laughs> uh, probably would have. <laughs> Uh, how about you nate okay i have a weird stipulation here because okay. mm-hmm. it's hard to tell from the art but it almost looks like her like right hand is like mangled like it's like like Ooh. just like bare muscle and bone like it's a claw like and that's how she's clawing oh, her face yeah. off right if that's the case it's a pass but if it's actually just a normal hand and she has just kind of long nails that's a smash mm. i don't know why <laughs> it just occurred to me that um she basically looks like a Zimitsi from like white wolf vampire. Mm. Um, and that sounds horrifying. So definite pass. Thanks. <laughs> Roman. So it's a smash for me, but a very specific type of smash. Uh, that type of smash is over the head with a cinder block. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm taking the face coat. Because I can't you face don't... the world without a long coat, Nate. Puns? No. Oh. Good one. I hate it. Thank you. I set him up for that. Why did I set him up for that? I did. Why the long face coat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I get the feeling that that coat is probably cursed. Very much so. Very, mm. very much so. Yeah, we fun. Can just uh, we, yeah. A fun, uh, what, a grimoire for Through the Breach. Yep. Yeah. We'll just give it to Host Ducat and just see <laughs> how many curses we can just pile up on that motherfucker yeah. before a singularity is formed. You you definitely have to get that dry clean, though, before giving it to him because he's got to maintain the dapper, you know? I bet the coat's wet all the time. Like, yeah. all the time. Absolutely. Real gross. Vic, how about you? As long as she keeps keeps her face on during... <laughs> I think that's a good ground rule. <laughs> You're not interested in the advanced naked. You no. you don't want her to take no. her face off. <laughs> I do not. No. She's Ooh. Nick Cage under there. <laughs> Double smash. Never mind. Yeah, in that hey, case, never mind. I'm back. Smash. I'm back on the smash train. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What if she's drawn Travolta? Mm, pass. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Definitely Nick Cage, though. Mm-hmm. All right. So holy shit! No, uh, she she looks no, like Nick ahead. Cage. Have you seen his fucking crazy face? <laughs> it's true. It's Mandy, Nick Cage, right out of Mandy. Um, I'm doubling nice. down on my smash now. <laughs> Double down. Nice. Um, next up we have Margaritaville Nia herself, and um, yeah. Doug. <laughs> smash, double smash if the gremlins get involved. Yep. <laughs> it's a party. Cause then we got the cooler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean you're you're pre- you're prepped and ready to go for the after party. Hydrated. Um, for me, for me, it's a one hundred percent smash. Um, but I don't think the gremlins are allowed to join in because they probably make real weird fucking noises and it would be very distracting um <laughs> might be hard to i mean there's going to be a lot of booze involved anyway which already sounds like cowards its own Jesse. problems <laughs> yeah i guess it just depends on how many how much booze i get in me first so i'd say it's one of those things where i think it just gets a little easier the the longer the night goes on you know oh, good news if she ends up in that keyword <laughs> yeah 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 <sighs> Nate. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. Who's uh-huh. who's not going to smash? Yep. <laughs> we should just change it and be like, who would not smash Margarita Vilnia? Anybody? Anything to add? <laughs> Can we move on? And just we'll paint her shirt like Patrick Starr's shorts. <laughs> yes. She she looks like exactly the type of lesbian that I would want to sleep with. So. Yeah, I'm I'm going with repeated smash. Plus, I will make snacks 
in between rounds and breakfast the next morning. Yes. <sighs> nice. Victoria could cosplay her easily. Yeah, All I right. probably could. Okay, yeah. sorry. I'll be honest. I <laughs> thought about cosplaying her. <laughs> Just all of us cosplay Nia. <laughs> yes. Show up at the booth. One of us got to change. <laughs> Hang on, Nate. Nate, do you want to be a bucket hat gremlin? Oh yeah, we have to like be the gremlin. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'll be the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we do, Jess. We get sidetracked. I'm sorry. No, this is perfect. This is what he wanted. Every minute of it. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, All right. So Savage Nia, um, she looks real fucking angry, but kind of hot. I guess cold. Hot. Yes. Whatever. Or no. Smash. I'm on. I'm on the smash train with this one for sure. It just depends on how cold it is in the room because that brings its own unique set of complicating factors um and there's probably blood involved because old one eye and like that's a little weird so i'm not super on board with that but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go smash although is that a spine hanging off of i believe that is some kind of spine that seems pretty savage yeah she's she just got a spine draped over her draped over her arm just just casually like a towel yeah (laughs) Don't, did, when she leaves, you have to like point towards the coat rack near the door and be like, can, can you not forget that, please? Because mm-hmm. gross. The cats are getting at it. The cats are getting at it. It's a snack for later. <laughs> you don't want a Doug. free spine? No. Doug, what do you think? Soup. Uh, smash. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> smash. Absolutely. Easy. I, was, I think I would, I would refer to it as stoic more than angry. It's true possibly so it looks like she got taught some magic yep Mm mm-hmm how about you nate i'm a pass on this one she's just too serious for me you know i'm i'm a bit bit concerned you know i just not you know two ships sailing in the night and i gotta pass on this one (laughs) yeah i mean i guess you can't smash all of them or can you probably can um roman uh, I'm going to go with Smash for the exact same reason Nate just said pass, because uh, I see serious lady with maybe a bit of a frigid heart, and I think she just needs a, a bit of a thawing out. <laughs> you can fix her. You can fix her. <laughs> she just needs warm hugs. Oh, boy. You can provide those. I can provide warm hugs. Professional warm hugger. Mm-hmm. Professional Vic. warm body. <laughs> See, Dick, contrary, contrary to Roman, I can make her worse. <laughs> yes, very good. I've decided that the war crimes are funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, next we have Honeypot. And uh, whew, this is uh, I- I'm conflicted on this one, but I'll let you guys <laughs> go first. Doug, what say you? Uh, I'm going to say smash and be cautiously optimistic that there's no inconveniently placed spikes. <laughs> well, I'm sure there are. <coughs> ah, damn it. Okay. I'm counting well, on it. <laughs> I already said smash. I mean, looking at her pants, there don't appear to be... They're pretty any loose. Outgrowths. I don't know. Any, any like... crystally outgrowths? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be minding the addiction. She seems pretty chill with it. That's kind of nice. It's true. She's She's got a very, uh, again, a very stoic face. Like, she's uh, very awake for a brilliant well. time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going <laughs> yep. to assume this one and the next one, you're not coming away with anything after the interaction, because otherwise <laughs> that's probably an obvious no from everyone. we got to make this fun. So yeah, smash. Okay, but free brilliance, though. First, it's free, right? Yeah. Is she going to scream it into my mouth? <laughs> Excellent. I mean, if Very you're good. into that. Okay, yeah, smash regardless. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nate. So yeah, I'm making the exact opposite assumption of Doug. I'm assuming I am coming away with something after this. She's going to ruin my life. 
She's going to pin me down with that giant claw hand of hers. Oh smash. My. <laughs> <laughs> Very much the smashy, not the smasher. That was a twist ending right there. Correct. I knew exactly Roman, what about you? I know, I know what she's about. Look at her. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern here, thinking back to the the fluff where we've like read from the point of view of someone who is taking brilliance, like not remembering things. I don't know if she on either end of it could either consent or be trusted to remember and act on a safe word. So I'm going to go mm. with pass. <laughs> reasonable, reasonable stipulations. See, that's very well thought out. I, I'm I'm proud of you. I'm I have that you. problem. I can't turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Vic, I think I know where this is going. Um, um, what do you think? There are just a few too many spikes and there aren't enough pool noodles in the world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Call back joke. <laughs> I'm going to pass. All right. I didn't see where it was going after all. Um, for this one, I think I think it's got enough of the crazy girlfriend energy without like the overload that we see in the <laughs> Red Chapel one. Plus, the crystals might be handy hand grips. So I'm going to go smash. Mm, that's a good point. Hero mode. Yeah. Hero mode. That's right. So next we have Cadmus. Uh, fucking no. No. We thought STDs were bad. <laughs> no. Hard pass for me. Doug, what do you think? Well, uh, I, told you you I, I, I told you. I gave you the assumption. I, I was not going to make that joke. I was going to let Nate make that joke. That's <laughs> Nate's joke. Yep, How that's dare my you? Joke. I mean, Jesse can cut me. Jesse can <laughs> cut that. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I explained before, like, you had, the assumption has to be you're not going to come away with a horrifying mite disease. Uh, because that's not fun, so we're going to make this fun. I'm going to actually say smash! What them bug parts do? <laughs> nice. What them bug parts do? Maybe your do. only There's opportunity to find too. out. <laughs> There's a lot of arms, but they also look really uh, sticky and kind of gross so yeah there's that i would say we're, we can put we can make the ground rule that you don't come away with a uh a parasite token uh, but you're probably <laughs> still going to be really itchy afterwards that's fine reasonable a sa willing sacrifice there's a, there's a cream for that probably uh -huh. probably Ultimately, it depends on where the webs go yeah how do i shot web yeah <laughs> how do i shot web <laughs> <laughs> oh nate what do you think uh all right hear me out uh, me and three bros <laughs> <laughs> and i made that joke um <laughs> as funny as that is i'm gonna go realistically i gotta pass this one okay I'm, I'm happy that somebody else has some sense uh barely roman so on the one hand i agree the hands look sticky. On the other <laughs> hand, like those fingers look look like soft and supple, and they're nah. they're no very so, much pass. Damn it! I was going to say so. You and three hand, bros. And on the other other hand, yes, very much. <laughs> She's probably got those like black archivist eyes, and I really oh, need yeah. to know a little bit more about what's going on with that Ooh. fucking shoulder. So yeah, bug yeah. stuff. Berserker has spikes. It's fine. <clears throat> I hope we get like another artwork because it looked like the artist didn't have enough time for this one and the uh, Marshall. One. Some of these look like yeah, a little more completed. Like, than I'm others. assuming she has actually like fully defined feet and a and more hand. defined hands. Yeah. <laughs> no, no hand. Yeah, Just little sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Fleshy, gross. Vic. If, if the three arms looked less wet. They're a little goopy. But based on this art, I'm going to say pass. Next up, we have Academic. And uh, I I'm going to let Doug go first on this because I'm sure he's got feelings. My my feelings for the keyword notwithstanding, this is a really cool looking 
what would possibly be a model. Uh, instead of one sword, she's got four. That's and they're different elements. Now, this is this is absolutely a smash. This is the other one where it just doesn't look like she's having a bad time. I'm cool with that. My only problem is that Sandeep didn't give her a fucking shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like some of on. these I understand the torn shirt. It makes yeah. sense with the with the keyword, but like the fuck, Sandy. She got a better shirt out of the try chai keyword <laughs> than the, the Honestly, combined resources of the Arcanists. It kind of looks like she's wearing the Hushabai cloak. Like I'm not sure what that flap the, the weird flap on the shoulder is for. I think she's just got but, wind yeah, no. going on. Still, definitely a smash. All right, I'm going to go um, for sure smash. Um, this is probably second place only to Margaritaville in terms of smash worthiness. Um, and she can apparently float, which seems handy. So, yeah, double smash. Nate? Yeah, I mean, this seems like a pretty, like, realistically, like a base form Nia. Like, besides the fact that she has magic swords, those aren't, like, a part of her body. So, like, this is just... The person she is. So, yes, smash. What if they keep floating around and you just have to kind of like dodge them? Oh, uh, willing to risk it. All right. What if she can do that, but like with toys? <laughs> Double risk it. <laughs> You're reading my brain. But do the toys have to have an element associated with them? Yes. She could triple she could risk it. Like turn the dial down so it's just. She only ever you know, uses a nice wind. experience. <laughs> kind of tickly instead of, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like it's like a instead of it being on fire, it's like a, a, a sour skittle, like a little zap. Sour skittle. I'm not, I'm not sure why I specified sour skittle. I'm sorry. You couldn't have just said like body temp. What you had to go with that? sour skittle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it was it was a thing of like what is okay in singular doses, but if I like consume the entire bag, it'll melt your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it'll melt my mouth. Don't don't question my logic. <laughs> That's my job oh, on this show. Oh boy, I'm D D Douglas Scoundrels, steam powered scoundrels. Roman, what do you think? Uh, for all the reasons mentioned previously, of of either levitation or wind levitation, etc., um, and various temperature play possibilities nice. yeah i'm in nice and then vic uh rounding out this echo chamber wow this is where we become do. the echo chamber <laughs> <laughs> people are think we're gonna we're not true chai chai fans <laughs> now we like we like two things alcohol and magic true. If you can I, combine I them even better on smashing margaritaville nia as well yes. that's true so. yeah yeah Fair enough. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. This is where the okay, real like... voting needs to happen. <laughs> yes. I, I have a pro proposal to weird games to, that would make me change my mind on who I'd support. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Nia goes into Arcanus for, for academic. But in fact, she is actually now the dual keyword arcanist MNSU. We give Sandeep a rune and the boxers, and then we also get the Oxfordian mages. <laughs> Trade agreement. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Seems hmm. perfectly reasonable. Give me my fucking just keep, mages. Just keep dreaming, Doug. <laughs> just keep dreaming, Doug. Just keep I dreaming. will. All right. Uh, next one, we have Bandit Nia. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say, yeah, Smash, uh, because she looks like she's pretty well put together and clean. Her clothes aren't all tattered and gross. She probably smells nice and uh, attachments. She, she got a better shirt from the Bandits <laughs> than she did from the Arcanists. The fuck, guys? Sandeep, fuck. find fuck. an Old Navy, goddammit. The Arcanists just really like to see bellies. Sure, but like... I mean, there's... Yeah. Yeah. They're into crop there's probably, tops. There's probably not many masters in the game that are more concerned about their own appearance than Parker. 
Um, so <laughs> true facts. Honestly, this, that this, man has a fashion tracks. sense. He he's got to be looking. He's got to be. The drip's got to be on point when you're doing crimes. <laughs> My only complaint with this concept art is that um, Bandit so needs more swoopy cloak. That's no, that's true. The cloak looks a little less swoopy than uh, mm-hmm. than you're I saying. It needs expect. to be higher. It needs it needs more swoopage. Yeah. It needs to be more blowing swoop. in the air I'm... in a very unrealistic way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My beef with this is it's the most boring out of all eight. It's true. I mean, it's fit. It fits Bandit well. I'm, not, I'm definitely not saying it's it's hot take. I think the, the Marshall one. one's the most boring. Marshall one gets my imagination going, though. Like, there's questions to be answered with the Marshall one. The bandit one's just gun arm. I don't know. I like gun arm. <laughs> I'm a simple man. What what if <laughs> what if with bandit and bandit only she starts talking like Barrett from Final Fantasy seven because gun arm. Mm. We're good. Are you gonna? Okay, mm. now this is the big question: Are we gonna paint her like Bear? Are we gonna paint her like Mega Man? Are we gonna paint her like Samus? Mm. There's so many options. The gun arm really opens things up. Ooh, no, we, we paint her like Samus, and then if Weird's feeling cheeky, we can get like an alt model or it's zero suit. Mm. I would say the gun arm itself definitely resembles uh, Samus's gun arm more than the others. So yeah. I'm gonna go with Samus. Yeah, it's very, very Samus. Yes. Samus style. Yep. Yes. So I threw a goal smash out there. Um, Doug, did you vote? Smash. I don't remember. Smash. Big smash. Nate? Yeah, I mean, yeah, smash. That definitely, for sure. Yep. 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 Roman? I'm sorry. Brown coat yeah. Samus? Oh, yes, yeah. sign me up. Make Mel Reynolds proud. Vic? Uh, and to. Another unanimous vote on Smash. Um, yeah. What them attachments Smash. do. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. So many options. <laughs> you think she lost her so hand or if it's just like jammed in there? I guess we'll find out. I think she lost her hand. If that happens. The scale doesn't look right for her not Good having question. lost it. Yeah, it's definitely like at her elbow. Like if she had an arm, it'd be in the, the barrel of whatever that is. And Maybe the gun shoots gun. hands. <gasps> handgun and it just she just regrows her hands and <laughs> no. shoots them. no no <laughs> it's just for show she's actually just got a pistol in her hand no, it's, a, it's a inside it's a, of it <laughs> it's a fist gun it shoots fists i cast fist kinky she's a punch wizard oh boy <laughs> punch wizard Okay, then we have Marshall, the most very, the very most indistinct of all the concept arts, but uh, it's got big goth girl energy. So, um, <laughs> there's probably some muscles underneath that cloak. So, big goth muscle mommy, step on me. I like how we're making up muscle. <laughs> yes. Speaking of muscle mommies, I did finally assemble the drudges, and what the <laughs> fuck is uh-huh. fuck? Yeah, right. Like uh-huh. they're all wow. hot as hell. Uh-huh. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, so Marshall. Uh, yeah, I bet uh, probably a smash for me, but I'll reserve judgment when I actually see what the model looks like. Doug. Yeah, speaking of which, I feel like the word judgment has to be on our card somewhere. Uh, that's, yeah, this is a smash. Spooky, but like in a hot way. The spookies, all about the spookies. Uh-huh. What if she actually has a burning skull face? Oh yes. Does that Double change smash. the answer? Tri- triple Double. smash. Triple smash. Wow. All right. Nate. See, this is this is a uh, this is an indeterminate for me. I need I need more details on this one because as it is right now, it's the one that's doing the least for me because it's the least Nia of the eight Nias. So like I don't I don't know what's going on here and I can't I can't make a judgment call on this one. This Reserving is, judgment. I this is this that. is an abstain. All right, uh, Roman. Uh, see, well, from a game perspective, I completely agree with Nate. We need no, more just... detail. I'm going. I to did. <laughs> okay, just just, just making sure. Make sure I heard you. Um, yep. Yep. We need more detail. 
but for a Smasher Pass, that opens up more imaginative options. And yeah, I'm I'm all about under the robe is is goth mommy something strappy like strawberry yes, socks. Um, the secret mm, that no mm. no none of the goth girls want you to know is like underneath all that black Stop. clothing. No, it's some really cute Stop. socks. <laughs> no. No, you, you know what it is. You know what it is. The socks look like the head fire. It's got like like little like chibi that, marshals. That is the pattern on the socks, and yeah, and their thigh highs. I guess and they the stay big on. the big break point for me would be if under the cloak it's like death marshal, so just like burning face, or like thirty three, so like everything's fucking burning, because um, that could be a problem. Yeah, no, yeah, they don't make a cream no. for that yet. The thing um, is, like Vic, the. Oh, the fire okay. doesn't seem to like actually burn anything because otherwise the marshals wouldn't be wearing hats. And so I think it's just more of a special effect. It's so and fire. Nia or thirty three was in the void for many years, and that is why she is so fiery. And two, it is chibi thirty three on the socks. Okay, fair. Oh no, okay. I got this. I got, I got. I can bring Nate into this. Nate, this is this is actually the tri chai model, and she is on top of two other gremlins <laughs> in right, a I'm giant in. stack. Two gremlins in a judgment mm-hmm. robe. That's a long top. title. They're all naked. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah they're wearing a robe. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot in the butt. All oh, that cloak would smell so bad. Oh god. Oh, real bad. Real bad. Now, here, now here's the question: Are the gremlins on top of each other so she's like? <laughs> no, they're the gremlin <laughs> shoes on very small legs. Yeah, it's like or, squish and squash. Is, or is it like yeah, yeah, one one gremlin per she's leg? Still, she's yeah. squishing and squashing a pair okay. of gremlins. They're having a great time. Love it, love it. So, Vic, what do you say? I mean, like everybody's saying, there could be anything under there. What there does your imagination tell you? A big what if you saw mommy. there could be, there could be a boat? <laughs> there could be there a boat. Could be a boat. What if you saw this Nia across the bar and they sent you a drink? And pointed yeah, at you did. like that. And it's pointed at axe. you just like that, exactly. Didn't let her have an axe in the bar. I mean, does, who's gonna stop her? Does the axe come into the bedroom? Yes. Probably. Smash. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we have it, folks. We did it. <laughs> we are all degenerate motherfuckers. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm super pumped to see what Weird does with the rest of the Echoes of the Breach uh, campaign. Uh, I'm going to be pumping out this. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have said pumping out after <laughs> Smash the Pass talk. Um, I'm going to be pumping out this release. Uh, it's in theme. You're fine. Pretty soon because there's minimal <laughs> editing necessary. And at this point, uh, you should be hearing this episode this weekend, which is going to give us just a few short weeks to get your games in. I myself am actually going to be going to a uh, casual tournament this Saturday, uh, and all of the games are going to have the Echoes of the Breach. I'm actually Excuse running me. a uh, casual ish tournament next Saturday on the 5th, or the, sorry, the 18th of May, which will optionally assuming both players at each game you know agree to it we'll be running echoes of breach yeah it's gonna be great fun uh also super cool that weird put out a uh, stl for anybody who has uh access to a 3d printer five bucks for yes. a little neon model to use instead of your tokens pretty freaking cool pretty dope so it's great pretty, model. Dope. pretty dope yep. yeah it is mm-hmm. it, it does. prints real easy I printed mine on a regular FDM printer and it doesn't look like utter garbage. Nice. I was impressed. Yeah. Nice. So uh, we're going to let all of you good folks go. Um, we're just going to go stew in all the unsavory thoughts <laughs> all that of we our had juices. while trying to figure out all the smash and passes, uh, the juices, the Cadmus juices. Yes. Mm. So Ew. juicy. Gross. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And as always... Stay weird, folks. 